Today, we're demonstrating SLAM mapping and navigation using the Highwander Mentor Pi M1 robot in a maze environment. SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. The robot uses a TF LiDAR sensor to collect point cloud data. This data is processed by the SLAM toolbox package in ROS2. As you can see on the RVS display, the robot is building a 2D occupancy grid map in real time. The SLAM algorithm performs three key functions, pre-processing the raw sensor data, matching current observations with the existing map, and fusing new data to update the map. The robot maintains its pose estimate while simultaneously building the environment map. Notice how the map grows as the robot explores. Each laser scan adds new information about the maze walls and corridors. The algorithm uses particle filters to maintain multiple pose hypotheses and selects the most likely robot position.
Now that mapping is complete, we'll demonstrate autonomous navigation using the ROS2 Nav2 stack. I'm setting a navigation goal using the 2D nav goal tool in RVs. The nav2 planner server calculates a global path from the robot's current position to the target. You can see the planned path displayed as a green line on the map. The controller server executes this plan using the DWA local planner. It generates velocity commands while avoiding obstacles and following the global path. The robot uses its encoder data and IMU for odometry feedback. 
The cost map layers include the static map from SLAM, an obstacle layer from current sensor readings, and an inflation layer that adds safety margins around obstacles. This ensures collision-free navigation. For multi-point navigation, I'm setting sequential waypoints. The Navi2 behavior tree coordinates the sequence of navigation goals. The robot will navigate to each waypoint in order. At each goal, it uses AMCL, adaptive Monte Carlo localization, 
to verify its position against the map. This corrects any accumulated odometry drift. The recovery behaviors handle situations where the robot gets stuck. These include clearing cost maps, rotating in place, and backing up. The behavior tree automatically triggers these when needed. Notice how the robot maintains accurate localization throughout the mission. The particle cloud in AMCL converges around the robot's true position, confirming successful localization. This demonstration shows the complete ROS2 navigation pipeline. We used SLAM toolbox for mapping, NAV2 for path planning and control, and AMCL for localization. The key ROS2 concepts demonstrated include Publishers and subscribers for sensor data, action servers for navigation goals, transform trees for coordinate frames, and parameter servers for configuration. The robot successfully mapped an unknown environment and performed both single and multi-point autonomous navigation. This is the foundation for more advanced robotics applications in ROS2. For more ROS2 tutorials and robotics content, subscribe to our channel.